again, it's, it's a game of being the tactics, getting the tactics right, making sure you mark out the right players. But yeah, it's going to be difficult for PSG, but they know they can do it over previous results. Look, we talk about how they've been so dominant. They've won the Champions League five times in a row before, but in the last three years, they've only won it once. So are they starting to slip up maybe, Gillian? I think it's more, not necessarily slipping up, I just think it's a lot difficult now. You know, obviously you've got the emergence of Chelsea, you've got the emergence of Barcelona, you've got other teams coming in. Not all the best players are going to Lyon and, and they've found it difficult over the last few years. Cadiatu Diani left PSG for Lyon last summer. A massive loss for PSG, but a massive win for Lyon. Yeah, I mean, it's huge. Obviously, Diani, she's gone there, she's done the bits, she's doing what she's getting paid to do, and that's to score lots of goals. You know, she's been an absolute amazing signing for him. A real threat, but PSG have their own threats, don't they? Um, what can we expect from them? Because they did draw against Lyon earlier this season in the league, didn't they? Yeah, and I mean, obviously, you've got Turinga, listen, she's an outstanding player. You know, and I think we've, the good thing about these is that they do play a lot against each other in the league. So, you know, it's like Chelsea and Arsenal coming up against each other. They're going to know how each other play. They're going to know their strengths and they're going to know their weaknesses. Maybe that's going to give PSG the edge then, because if anyone is going to stop this European powerhouse of Lyon, it could be PSG that know how they play inside out. Yeah, 100%. It's always easier when you're going to come up against a team that you've able to, to face before. If it's a brand new one, a brand new team that you haven't really necessarily faced before, you then got to try and learn on the job. OK, well, let's see how the teams are lining up for this big one in the first leg of their Champions League semi-final here in Lyon. Starting with Lyon, they've made three changes from their 6-1 win over St Etienne in the league. Delphine Cascarino is starting after being a doubt after a knock. Cadiatu Diani, who signed from PSG this summer, is up front, of course, and there's no Arda Hegerberg in the squad at all. She's still not fit after injury. Three changes as well for PSG from their last league game. Tabitha Chawinga is their star up front alongside Marie Antoinette Katoto. What do you make of those uh, lineups, Julie? I mean, they're still strong. Listen, even obviously, Hegerberg's a big, a big loss, I think, because obviously, naturally, she is a leader, but if she's coming back off an injury, maybe best to save her for this game, potentially for the second leg, and then hopefully then looking long-term for the final. Um, but yeah, listen, they're both strong teams. Tabitha Chewinga is a real star in that PSG squad, isn't she? A Malawi international, young player. How impressed have you been with her so far this season? Uh, she's an absolute powerhouse. You know, obviously, 13 goals in 10 starts. You know, she's a top goal scorer. She's just phenomenal. And, you know, I think that's the good thing about the, the players coming through is that the young players coming through as well, they're getting their chances. And what bigger stage to get their chance in the Champions League? Well, now, if you've been watching our Women's Champions League coverage, maybe in the knockout rounds, you'll know all about the Visa Fan Zone. If you haven't heard about it, you should really get on it because you can win all sorts of prizes, you can do live quizzes, and you can also do a live chat with other fans. This is how it all works. Join the Visa Fan Zone on DAZN for the knockouts of the UEFA Women's Champions League. Test your trivia, vote in polls, win amazing prizes, including a VIP trip to the final. Joining is simple. Head to the DAZN app on your mobile or on the web, dazone.com forward slash women's football. Sign up, select a UWCL game and get involved live and for free on DAZN, the global home of women's football. Well, if you haven't signed up to the Visa Fan Zone, what are you waiting for? I'll tell you what you're waiting for. Loads and loads of prizes. You can also win a VIP trip to the Women's Champions League final. You can also win a signed T-shirt as well. And whilst you're there, we're asking people to record their pep messages, their positive messages for the teams. Record them in, send them in to us, and we'll be telling you which team has got the most positive messages throughout the match. Uh, Jilly, you were and you still are, I guess, a natural-born leader, right? What did you say to your teammates when they were possibly having a rough day? I don't think I'll be able to say on air, to be honest with you, Betty, what I wanted to say to them. Um, but no, <laughs> listen, I think when you're having a rough day, you just got to pick yourselves back up again. And I always said, as long as you could come off the pitch, knowing that you'd give everything, that's all anyone can ask of you, regardless of the result. What about a, a pet message to get people up and going, to get people excited? I used to always say, don't play for the name on the back, but play for the badge on the front. You know, and then he, I've had some difficult talks over my career as well, Betty, but yeah, you just have to find sometimes the, the inner strength and the inner motivation to really pull yourself through. 
Well, uh, that's very interesting because I guess when you're having a when you're playing a two-legged match like this, you're you've lost the first match. Barcelona, for example, one nil down against Chelsea. They're going to need their confidence built right back up, right? Yeah, hundred percent. And, and these games, the beauty of having a second leg is that it's only half time. You know, and so for example, you've got Chelsea, Barcelona. Barcelona coming off at the back of a one 0 defeat. They know they're going to go to Chelsea. They know what they need to learn from that first leg. The second leg is always the most hardest the fixture to play. So again, you've got the beauty. You've got the two chances to do it. On this game tonight, then Marie Antoinette Katoto said before the match earlier this week that obviously they've played Leon so many times, so many times this season, so many times previously. But she says this match is going to be different. What do you reckon? Do you think that's true? I think it, it comes with the pressure of the Champions League. You know, obviously you play each other in the league, you know that you can nick three points, you can nick a point, whatever. But when it's Champions League, you know what's at stake. You're in the UEFA Champions League semi-final. And obviously, yes, there's two legs, but only every professional wants to play in that final. So, yeah, there is a different added pressure that comes with this match. What do you think PSG need to do? Because they're a, they're a younger team and they might not have experienced games like this on this top level in comparison to Leon's team. I think when you're, when you're coming away from home, and obviously they haven't got the best away form either, Coming away from home, you have to stay tight. You can't give Leon early chances. You can't let them get control of the game too early on. And you've got to try and stand the fixture for as long as you can because you know that you're going to be going at home next weekend with your own home crowd getting behind you. What? With Leon, they're such a dominant team. They, we've we've said it many times. They're, they're the team that won the most Champions League finals. But maybe now PSG is starting to go toe to toe with them. Are you expecting this to be a close match? I do expect it to be close. I don't think it's going to be a, a runaway. I do think that Leon are are the favourites into this game. But again, like we say, the beauty of the Champions League is that anything can happen. Well, Leon left back Selma Batcher will be very pleased with this full stadium today. A record breaking attendance for a women's home game here in Leon. And we can hear from her now. Leon, it's my ville, it's my club, it's my second family. I'm just red and blue. My first memory with a ball was at the stade de Gerland. Uh, J'allais voir mon, mon frère jouer et j'avais toujours un, un ballon avec moi. Uh, J'ai marché très très tard parce que, uh, étant petite, les médecins ils ont dit que j'allais jamais marcher de ma vie. Uh, du coup, bah, je me suis fait soigner en, en Tunisie. C'est ma grand-mère qui m'a soigné et uh, donc uh, c'est important pour moi de, de dire ça que j'ai marché à très tard et que c'est ma, ma grand-mère qui m'a soigné. Donc uh, maintenant, je la remercie parce que si je suis sur le terrain. Uh, C'est parce qu'elle elle, m'a soigné et maintenant je peux aller voir les médecins et leur dire bah, voilà où j'en suis à l'heure actuelle. And the women's Champions League winners, Leon il y a des joueurs encore que j'attends, mais avec Eram Rawi, Kenza Dali. Mais euh, franchement, bah, quand tu arrives dans un vestiaire comme ça, bah oui, euh, tu es impressionné parce que tu les vois à la télé de base et tu te dis en fait tu te retrouves à côté de ces joueuses-là. Donc euh, après, il faut montrer son caractère et je pense que c'est ça qui fait ma force. J'ai montré mon caractère dès le départ et, euh, et on m'a kiffé comme ça. The 2018 UEFA Women's Champions League winners again, it's Leon. Ouais, je m'en souviens par cœur parce que déjà ce jour-là, j'avais envoyé un message à mon père en, en lui disant bah, j'espère que je serai dans le groupe et que je ne serai pas en tribune. Mais en fait, arrivé à la causerie, je me vois titulaire, donc même moi, j'ai rien compris. Et franchement, ouais, je me rappelle comme si c'était hier, on a gagné et franchement, Qui dit à 17 ans d'avoir un, une Ligue des Champions, c'est juste exceptionnel et c'est un, un titre dont, enfin, un souvenir dont je m'en lasserai jamais. Un petit mot sur, euh, sur le jeu vidéo, la FC24. Je pense que tu, tu as eu. Ah ton... oui, je, je... Alors, <rire> raconte-nous un petit peu. C'est quoi d'être dans un jeu vidéo pareil Bah, c'est une fierté, c'est un honneur. Déjà, quand j'ai appris que j'allais être sur la couverture, bah, j'y croyais pas. Euh, même là, ce qu'ils ont fait avec moi, c'est fort faire un, un truc de future stars et je me dis que bah c'est tout le travail qui paye mais franchement c'est juste incroyable et surtout quand on me dit que je suis la, la joueuse où bah, je, je suis le plus prise en tant que défenseur gauche je, bah, je suis trop contente bah écoute il nous en reste deux donc euh, ça allait prendre ces, ces deux trophées hein, championnat de france et, et ligue des champions Selma Batcher just 23 years old Jilly what kind of threat does she pose Oh, I mean, she's a fantastic player, you know, and I, like, 
just in there, you're able to see she's won it at 17. You know, that experience, you can't buy that experience. And Hold on a second, you you won the Champions League when you were just 15. Well, I didn't want to drop that one in, but thank you, me, for, for dropping that in. But, yeah, for her to now be able to play and be a leader as well, but I found it fascinating how she said that when she broke into the team and she had those players that she's looked up to. I felt exactly the same. When I come into Arsenal and I was Kelly Smith, Rachel Yankee, and you're just starstruck by those players who... And then you, and you got old with them and you play them regularly and they just become your friends. And, yeah, it's a fantastic story. What is that feeling like when you've sort of come through the academy and you do get your first start for your team? Oh, it's huge. You know, I think for me, obviously, I started off at Arsenal and going into that dressing room the first time and seeing those players. And, I mean, I didn't say boo to a goose. I don't even think I looked at them. Um, and then to be able to go and play with them and grow and grow them as a player and as a person, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Well, let's uh, have a look at one player that we've spoken about quite a lot so far in the build-up to this first leg of the semi-final, Tabitha Chewinga, who, of course, plays for PSG. She's a sort of upcoming star, isn't she? How impressed have you been with her? Yeah, I've been, I've been really impressed with her. Like I said, I think she's a powerhouse. I think she's very direct. She knows what she wants, and that's exactly what you want from a, from a forward. And ultimately, at the end of the day, she's paid to score goals, and that's exactly what she's doing. But, yeah, very direct... Very powerful, brings a lot. She is so dangerous in front of goal, isn't she? She actually started her career as a goalkeeper in Malawi and now she's playing as a striker. What do you make of that? Well, I always think, though, sometimes being a goalkeeper, you know, a forward, they're, they're going to know what a goalkeeper don't like and a goalkeeper's going to know what a forward don't like. So she's probably in probably one of the best positions to know when she's going through on goal, what does the goalie not want her to do? And that's probably why she's scoring all these goals. Do you think Leon are going to be worried about her tonight? Yeah, most definitely. I think, listen, she's a threat. And, and it'll be really difficult because where she's such a big built player as well, it's hard for any defender to mark her. Obviously, her movement, she goes on her left foot, she comes on her right foot, she's direct, she's dynamic. It's very difficult. So, yeah, I think they'll try and nullify her, but you can't obviously just mark one player at the game because you've got 10 others. How would you have marked her? Oh, <laughs> I probably would have tried to climb all over her, to be fair, or, or at least get a tackle in early doors. Not sure, uh... not sure that's allowed, Jenny. <laughs> yeah. I'm allowed to say now because I've retired, but yeah, I mean, I just try and win the mental battle, to be fair. Let's talk about Grace Gayoro then, PSG's captain. What will she be saying to her team tonight ahead of walking out here? I think she'll be saying, listen, stay calm, stay composed, and play our own game. You know, don't get trying to get drawn into different battles, play your own game. Get hold of the ball, look after it. Obviously, she's a leader for them. She's a, she's a big leader for them. And she'll be important today, breaking up the play, being direct, bringing the ball forward and linking up with the forward players as well. Yeah, her linking up with Chewinga is, is very key, isn't it? Yeah, it's huge. And that's what they'll have to stop. Obviously, when she does get on the ball, they're going to know that she's going to want to look for her. As a captain, what is a night like this like? PSG have never won a semi-final against Lyon before. So as a captain, what will you be wanting to say to your team as the sprinklers oh. are about to come out? <laughs> I'm getting a nice little wash here. Don't mind us. It's fine. We're, we're getting a little bit of a shower. It's OK. Um, no, yeah, from, from, a, from a captain's point of view, listen, it's, a lot is put on you as a captain, you know, especially in these situations to set the tone, you know, to lead by example, to not get drawn into anything, but literally dictate the game. Will PSG be confident? Yeah, I think they will be. I think they, listen, they've had good games against them in the league, but like I said, they're, they're away from home. So first and foremost, you need to try and get a result that you can take back to your, your own home ground with, which is obviously next weekend. So they're going to want to make sure that they stay in the game going into that one. Let's talk about Leon's Arda Hegerberg then. Such a key player for them, has been out for six matches. This will be a seventh match that she will have missed. How much are they missing her? Yeah, she's a huge misser. Not even just her, what she does on the pitch, but just her name, what her name carries. You know, obviously, I played against her. Even knowing that she was in the starting 11, it's difficult for any defender. But for them, long term, if she can get into the final, that would be a huge uh, game for them. OK, well, the stage is set here. The atmosphere is brilliant. The crowd are here in their numbers. So here we go. It's an all-French affair as Lyon and PSG meet for the third time in the Women's Champions League semi-finals. Let's see how it all unfolds as we join our commentary team of Andy Barge and uh, Gillian Flaherty, who has to run up to the to the commentary team. <laughs> better get my trainers on now. Better get your trainers on and better, better get running, Gillian. for women's
Women's Champions League, sponsored by Heineken. live up to the height. It's only rivalry. A little hard work. Only a kick. It's only a jump. I know why you're here. You're a born winner, the top dog. You have a proper punch on you. It only takes one, eh? But I know you're not all about throwing haymakers. You know your bobs from your weeds. And you know the zone's got over 100 live events every year. Over 100. Proper stack. All the action, the chaos, the comeback. The non-stop knockout. Big fights every week. So get those gloves back on. Together, we're boxing royalty. The zone. Undisputed. We're going to see some fireworks tonight. Welcome to the National Football League Draft. I can't wait to see how this plays out. It's time to get the show started. L is for the way you look. O is for the only one I see. V is very, very. Extraordinary E is even more than anyone that you adore can love. Is all that I can give. This is Mappy, and this is Vicky. They've won the biggest trophies in football. Seriously, the biggest. Today, they will share their techniques for overcoming pressure from our top secret high performance center. Rule one, studying every day will help you predict the unpredictable. Rule two, get to know your equipment. Make it your best friend. Rule three, it helps to have a training buddy, especially one who's always positive. Rule four, Breathe. Take a moment to go to your happy place. And finally, rule five. Always be prepared for the big occasion. That's it for today's episode. If you're feeling the pressure, you can follow this guide, scientifically proven by our top professionals. No animals were harmed in the making of this film. DAZN is the global home of women's football. History is to be written in the women's game tonight. Enjoy the best live games Great chance, go! from the world's top leagues. What a moment. Absolutely magnificent. It's their time. Oh, it's gone in. Fabulous finish. A new deal for women's football. The UEFA Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Heineken.
Well, good evening from Lyon. A fantastic French occasion is minutes away. Lyon and PSG in the Champions League semi-finals. Familiarity is the theme, but foes rather than friends. And the Parisians are after the crown that Lyon have held so many times. But tonight's hosts are on a mission to claim back the treasure trophy. Just once they've held it aloft in the last three years after such a successful period. Nobody has won it more than them. Eight times in total, PSG seeking their first. Barcelona or Chelsea awaits for the final in Bilbao. Chelsea with a big step in that regard earlier. Great result away from home. And this is nothing new for Lyon and PSG. a walk that they'll have taken together many times not just domestically but in Europe as well we don't have had a bit of a stranglehold over them in every regard PSG are doing their best to land a few punches A blow tonight, it would certainly cause a few ripples around the continent. They have ran Leon close on almost every occasion that they've played over the last couple of years. Gone are the days of four, five, six goal disparities. And this is their 11th match against each other in Europe. They've beaten PSG in three semi-finals and the final in 2017. But the gap is narrowing and narrowing. And the noises PSG have been making in recent years have become the loudest statement yet that they will pose a long-term threat to Europe's most successful club. fourth time in the Women's Champions League semi-finals is Leon and PSG. Tried once, twice, three times. PSG have never beaten Leon at this stage of the competition. They've managed to get the better of them twice at the quarter final in the round of 16 stage. But as we get on to the home straight yet again, this is really where Leon rev into gear. Although there's a blow for them before a ball is kicked this evening. Ada Hagerberg hasn't made it. The Champions League record scorer has a calf problem. That's six weeks and counting on the sidelines for her. So Vicky Besho deputises off the back of a double against San Etienne in the derby at the weekend. Hadi Diatu Diani is aiming to haunt her former club. She joined Leon in the summer and is the competition's top scorer this season on seven goals. Marta Huerta Diaz is the referee this evening. She is Spanish. 
Andrew really Renard has really been and seen everything and done everything in this competition over the years with the armband as normal. Base Gioro. Almost likewise with PSG, she's been to the final, but never won it. And they're pretty much at full strength this evening, PSG. Sandy Baltimore will play right wing back as part of a 3-5-2, not a 4-3-3. And as you're seeing there, Tabitha Chwinga has 27 goals in all competitions this season. So she's up there with Marie Antoinette Kitoto, who's on 17. Young defender Eva Gattino arrived in the winter from the USA. She's just finished college. She scored in the win over Hacken in the last round. Just moments away then, in a fantastic setting, it's a sunny evening in Lyon. Don't let that fool you with the temperature, it's chilly. The sun is out, and hopefully in front of what is a fantastic attendance, we have a cracker of a semi-final imminent. Inviting you as well to get involved in the Visa fan zone this evening. And then every match from now until the end of this season's Champions League. So head to the Zone app on your mobile or on the web. Zone.com forward slash women's football. Sign up, click on your UWCL game of choice tonight. See you on the PSG and join in the fun there. We don't have kept PSG at arm's length for most of their rise in French football. They did win the league back in 2021 PSG, that's their only one so far. They are causing problems here and there. They on tend to get the better of them. They haven't been beaten in the last five meetings. They did need a 90th minute own goal in February from Lisa de Almeida to preserve what is an unbeaten record in France this season. Bok. PSG will do this. They're happy to let Leon come forward and pick their moments. Space again, time for her to turn. There's De Mornay. Standing tall, Gattino. There's Basha fancying a run. There's Gioro. Just to get there first, and shall we begging for Mr. Pico to come and collect as she does. Delighted to say, Jelly Flaherty has hot legged it up the stand to <laughs> join me here in the commentary box. Got your breath back? I'm just about struggling to uh, to breathe, <laughs> but thankfully there's a lift. There were steps to the lift though, but yeah, it's quick time getting up here. It's the quickest I've moved. The new addition in French football this season. So Leon are comfortably ahead at the top of the top flight, but there will be playoffs. PSG. And Hayden on the left here with Kashawi, the first opening one of the game. Oh, and it's a huge chance, which can't be headed home by Tabitha Chwingat, which she'd been doing all season. It's great play down the outside here. Kashawi comes out on the left foot. Oh, I think it's the goalkeeper. She just tips it off. Great feet here. Super ball across, but I think it is the end. I think just gets that touch. Puts Chiringa off. Fingertips doing the job for Endler. And can't keep Hayat in play. 
Just as we were saying about the playoffs there. PSG are trailing at the moment in nine points, but they could still end up as champions of France because the top four go into a playoff system after 22 games to decide the winner. So although there's two games of the regular season left, Leon nine points clear, they aren't the champions yet. Whoever finishes top will play fourth, second against third in a semi-final final situation. And then the winner of that is the third champions. Access the Champions League football next season as Damaris crosses opening here for Leon. And it drifts harmlessly behind for Constance Pico. It's another great, it's great play from Leon. Very patient, beautiful ball in. She comes off the back shoulder, just overruns though. Great little ball in there. Just skips away. She can't really get it under control. from any Carpenter as well to get forward. Then they're going to be looking at her, Danny's right-hand side especially, to bring the play up. Dumanesh just doesn't get it under control at all. Runs away from her. Took a little while to get into the Leon team after our move last summer. Something with a couple of injuries as she looked to capitalise on what's a huge, huge step in her career the D1 revelation of the season at Star Dream last term. Fine Champions League fettle, Cascarino. Yeah, it's great Huge feet again. Huge so, contribution, sorry, Jill. No, no, no. It's, it's great feet again. But no, when she comes inside Cascarino, she's only got one thing on her mind there, and that is to pull the trigger. It's, she's been a live wire, especially in this first seven minutes or so, offering so much down that left hand side. She scored in both legs against Benfica in the quarter final stage. She scored in Lisbon as well because Benfica were keeping Leon at arm's length for the most part and still until it's only one pastor's side drew level through Cascarino. Here's Corin now. With eyes on the back of her head for Diani, who hadn't quite read her mind. Pico, not 
with the most difficult save she'll ever make and that's probably <laughs> coming as some sort of a surprise for her from that distance. Yeah, and this has all come as well from Batchers come in from the left-back position all the way into midfield to create an overload. Manages Carpenter, manages to, to then get the ball to her hand, but yeah, just seems to struggle to get it out of her feet to really generate the power that she wanted. who had drifted over from the right and PSG have a corner. I think what you're noticing as well with PSG a lot of their stuff is coming down this left hand side too. I think they maybe know that Carpenter's a very front footed player likes to join in and that's where they're going to exploit the space that, that she's leaving behind. Sakina Parshari posts a pretty lethal delivery when she feels like it. Oh and the deflection almost falling behind the Forcha Vinga. Almost 10 played, Jilly. The other side really grabbing a foothold so far. Do you expect nearly 80 minutes remaining? Yeah, I, I think this is what you would expect from the initial minutes or so in the game. Both teams are sort of trying to suss each other out, you know, look after the ball. You've seen them as well, they're starting to press. Leon are moving the ball quickly though. Yeah, you can see what Dume was trying to do, trying to do that. The bended ball around the back of the, of the defence. Defender re reads it really well, though. Well, though, she, she breaks up play. She's able to nick in there. Yes, it is a clear foul, but she does really well to get her team further up the pitch too. Has a little bit of a laugh about it as well. PSG able to move further up the pitch too. And now this could be a, a, a game as well where they have to make most of the set pieces, getting the ball into to Leon's box. I think from a player's point of view, you have to beat the near post. There's a player standing right there on the edge of the 18-yard line. You have to beat them when you're putting a delivery in. It's a bit of swerve on this one, which the Almeida gets the toe to it in the wrong direction. Again, it's obviously a game plan from them because the second delivery wasn't that much different to the first one, just got over the first defender. Which I think it's really hard to really try and get anything from, from the near post there, especially when you're outside the frame of the goal. Unfortunately for PSG, it's only Selma Basha that's waiting. And 
Horn. Looking for Vicky Besho. Starting to make their presence felt here a wee bit, the Parisians. What you really needed there, though, was you really needed Baltimore to come in off the back post. She's completely switched off at the back and then doesn't really react until the ball gets there. And you see, she sort of realises, oh, I should have been there to potentially put that chance away. But, yeah, it's good play from PSG. to play it to get them ahead of Mascarino. It's the takes a that downfall PSG. Very confident there. We'll see a bit of a distance out as well. She obviously fancies herself as soon as it opened up. She only had one thing on her mind, probably the wrong choice, but she's obviously got the confidence to do it. Really intriguing team ahead before the end of the season for Sonia on the past door. Could end up facing the team she's joining in the final. Chelsea capitalise on there. Like win. Remember, you can get involved in the fan zone from your DAZN mobile or web app. Share your messages of support for your team or preferred player as well on the park. Give us a shout and let us know who you want to win now. Soft. Obviously, we were able to see the replay back. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's I think, a clip. It's a clip. Yeah, there's a clip at the end. I think the initial contact, though, is a, a, a bit of a tie up between both legs, but then I think the initial kick at the end of it after is what made the referee give the free kick. So, shall we back on our feet to take a wasteful delivery? There she is again. Cascarino, a bit of encouragement with the back pass. Nico says, not here, not now. Five in a row. Managed to win between 2016 and 2020. One of the last three Champions Leagues have gone their way. Barcelona in the final, the team that have won two of the last three, that would really be a heavyweight clash. Chelsea having something to say about that so far. Ready to go over our two legs here. There's Carpenter. Ascarino, first instinct to face the PSG goal. Diani across. That's a fortunate deflection of Eva Gattino's shin. Neither side of the goalkeeper and there might have been a few hearts and mouths. And there weren't really many arguments from players in regards to it being a cushioned back pass either. I think if I would have been coming up against that, I'd have had my arms swinging in the air trying to fight for it. But yeah, very lucky really that he went straight to the goalkeeper. It was either side, potentially could have been an own goal. Straight out of university over in America, Eva Gattino to Notre Dame, same as our teammate Corbin Albert. There's 
in the bottom corner for Renard. He's hoisted every single Champions League trophy Leon have won. Basha. Carpenter was on her way, Diani was the eventual destination for a split second. coming together then I think Dumornay's been penalised for for that jelly it looks just like a shoulder to shoulder survival of the fittest yeah, it's always interesting really to see what way that's going to go Dumornay I think you hear where she stepped into her I think that's why the referees give it that way but it's always a Gioro's doing exactly the same back to her so it's sort of how, how do you call it it is just a shoulder shoulder punished for muscle <laughs> I can't say I was ever punished because of my muscle. <laughs> Mr. Winger. She's really part of a powerful PSG front three herself, but she's got the skill in the locker also away from Mbok. Kioro. in possession here. Took his time for Pasha. Yoro. They're being met with a pretty resilient opposition. Brennan. Still absolutely wonderful for Katoto! Not far from the goal of the tournament. Absolutely outstanding build-up play from PSG. And the through ball, something to behold from Jackie Grennan. Yeah, really good patient build-up play. Lovely little flick from Gunnan there. Played, I mean, I played, played with her when she was at Chelsea. No, very... She has that in her locker. You know, very technical player, but able to see that Leon was set. I mean, it, it, it's late for Menla, but obviously there was no... The ball was nowhere near either player, <laughs> to be brutally honest with you. Good see Toto up and OK, not requiring treatment. She was certainly there before. Goalkeeper. It's the first time that PSG have really toyed with Leon. Midway through the first half. But that's what they actually that they've been the more short side in possession. Leon have been doing their best to capitalise on quick turnovers like this. Here goes Carpenter. Diani. Special. 360s for Renard. Basha. Radar slightly askew. Teams have been scoring against PSG recently. They've kept just one clean sheet in their last away eight away games. Leon yet to really trouble them. Trying to change that record now. Here's Diane. She has Carpenter trying to stay onside. De Mornay for Demaris Aguirola! Oh, they troubled them there, all right. Wonderful save. Constance Pico at full stretch to deny Demaris, who doesn't score all that often. That really would have set a new bar for herself. 
Yeah, I wasn't sure if she was going to go on the outside initially to Carpenter on a 2v1, but comes inside. Uga rolling edge, opens up, great strike. Had to be a big save from the goalkeeper, though, to tip it over. Yes, she can't relax yet, though. First corner delivery from this side for Leon. Collect the second ball. Cycle begins. There's a bit of time and space. A little help though. Didn't take the touch off Brennan on the way through. You could also be expecting a player like Lindsay Haran to have a bit of a better delivery there. And at least try and either win a corner or at least get something into the box, not hitting the side netting. Fan zone here on the zone. The global home of women's football bringing you this Champions League semi final. Some fantastic prizes to give away. The winners from the quarter finals have already received theirs, so to be in with a chance of winning a personal message from a Team Visa footballer, share with us the pep talk that you'd like to give your team right now in the fan zone on the zone mobile or web app. The special is flattened. Guilty hand and apology from Delmeida, who gets away from the scene as quickly as possible. A few players there might have been trying to get her a yellow card. She does step in, she steps in late. Sort of one of those ones where you potentially say first challenge, no. Almost half an hour then. Yeah, well, you don't really want to be getting a yellow card this, this time into the game, you know, so early on. Basha delivers. Nobody might make an effort for it. Diani was the closest. They've done well, really, to get a corner into that. Leon. Dangerous in swinger in, but like you said, no one really attacking the ball, getting across the defenders. Basha again. The delivery so far have come to nothing. PSG able to defend without breaking sweats. She's such a threat though, Wendy Menard in, in the box. You know, I, I remember playing against her when I was in England, England under 17s. She was still the same height then when we was only 16, 15 years of age. She's such a such a threat. Very imposing. In both boxes. with both teams as well is there's a lot of rotation you know they're not really set in their ways of no I'm a centre mid I'm going to play this position there's a lot of change a lot of rotation so both teams have to be aware of that their player might necessarily have pulled off of them but someone else will be picking it up they're so strong oh, and it's misjudged by Ligui and this could afford Cascarino the opportunity beating her time excellent recovery the two-on-one works in PSG's favour. And Eva Gettino takes the acclaim and the thanks of her teammates. Really good play from Dumene. You know, able to turn. Great ball out into the wide area. Cascarino, fantastic feet. But Gettino has to get over there and do an important block. Helping your, your teammate out, get the covering in. So from the other side then. 
Scalino went unnoticed, but the cross comes in. Pico flying through the air. De Mornay fizzing in the cross. Shouts for a handball from Bechot's heads. And Pico has to parry it away. Oh, it's been relentless for the last five or so from Leon. That was Lindsay Horan. Trying to place the ball in the far corner. Yeah, really great ball in again from Dumonet. Into hand, just just like passing it into the back of the back of the net. Really composed. Didn't know at first initially there was a call for a handball, but in the header here, no, it's, it's not. It's not a, an arm at all. But pick up Leon, pick up the second ball again. Great save from the goalkeeper. There is VAR in operation. So even if that had been originally given, I'm pretty sure it would have been quickly solved. No whistle here, though. I mean, I, I thought that was a free kick there. I think Basha grabs her, doesn't let her go, and then I think ends up getting kicked as well. But for me, I think she's very lucky there because she seems to, to hold her back from running away. Here, for me, that, that's that's a free kick against Chewinga. Free kick at the least, I would suggest. Marta Puerta Diaz, the referee, she's been pretty lenient so far. There have been two or three pretty cynical fouls made now. No booking yet. Two of interest. Again, picking up those balls. No, she's got a, a difficult job as a captain because she, she likes to break up play as well, which does ultimately mean you're probably going to get kicked a lot of the time. Just does really well to win her team free kicks to get them further up the pitch. Just giving Lee on the leads. It's not been five minutes or so ago. Aguirola, who will be an unlikely scorer for Leon this evening. He has a couple this term. PSGR. Certainly giving Leon a bit of thoughts. Best to get there. I think she has connected with Christian Endler. I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good ball in. She probably wants to come a bit more across rather than running straight. If she manages to come across behind the defenders, across the goalkeeper. She'd be getting that first connection. All it takes is a trailing leg as well. It does. But also, I think that is a, that's very soft, in my opinion, from Endler. I, I don't really think there's much connection there at all. This is the most played match in UEFA women's competition history. The 11th meeting this evening between Leon and PSG. Must be sick of the sight of each other at times. Played each other three times domestically this season as well and there's a high chance that they'll play each other in the D1 Arkema playoffs for the title. Both take care of their semi finals. Eight meetings in the last two years, that's including the 21 22 semi final. They have won six of those eight meetings. PSG with the one win, which came here in the league in December 22. But they are close games, every win has been by a solitary goal. Less than 10 years ago, season 15 16, when Leon beat 
tonight's opponents 8-0 over a couple of legs in the semi-final. Moved on to beat Wolfsburg on penalties that season, the first of their five in a row run. Another angle for Selma Basha to try and navigate here. She's had little success so far. Nico grasping at thin air and Renard. Felt like she had to take it immediately. And a few surprised and disbelieving looks in white. And Constance Pico is out of jail. I'm just not sure. Sometimes goalkeepers, you just don't need to come. Let your defenders defend. You know, look how far out you are from the goal. You're coming outside, really, the six-yard box. Just let your defenders defend. Let them deal with it, and you stay stay in your area. She does get plenty of assists, Selma Basha. She's managed to set up a teammate eight times for a goal this season, but no such luck so far. And here comes another opportunity for her because that's cannoned off Liga Yi. I'm not really surprised, really, because she's on everything. <laughs> she's on every corner coming in, every free kick, every delivery near enough, even in open play, she's been the one putting the ball into the box. Balance of probability. Must have a good assist bonus, eh? <laughs> Another Basha delivery. Renata. Niggy failing to clear. Time lucky. Toto picking our moments. Back fighting fit and in goal scoring for Marie Antoinette Cototo after terrible knee injury last year. Two more night. Out thought and out fought. initially but decided that was hers and she would get there ahead of Chewinga. I think you see as well the space that they're looking to exploit PSG. They know Carpenter, like I said earlier on, they know she likes to get forward. I think that's why Chewinga as well is over on this this left hand side. She's just seen in the space that any Carpenter's leaving. So they can get the ball up to her quickly and find her. It'd be hard for any Carpenter to get back. Chewinga's in red hot form. She's scored eight of her last nine. in Basha's mind. Maris, one two with Castrino opening here for Leon. Delayed. Oh, well saved by Pico. Oh, the drop of the shoulder was so deceiving from Cascarino. But the finish, not quite the perfect execution she was looking for. Yeah, really good feet there from Cascarino. Drives inside here. Here's the drop of the shoulder. Sells the defender completely. You got a question, really? She, I mean, she's, she seems like she's hit straight at the goalkeeper. In all honesty, no, it's a, it's a great save from the goalkeeper because she's able to get it away from her as well, distance. But expecting Cascarino there to do much better in that situation. It's a trendy finish in football at the moment. The wingers went cutting in and instead of 
curling or placing it in the far corner, just almost chopping back on themselves and whipping it in at the near post. See it quite regularly these days. Can't say I ever done that, Andy. To be honest with you, <laughs> <laughs> maybe in training. Chances been appealing in the PSG box. No car run out in the Leon area here. And the Renard around. The Euro for Baltimore, quite so far. And she's sparking to life. Stand tall. And in brave. The Almeida only has one option. Team. I'm sure has put together there. Doesn't really seem to be an urgent bone in PSG's body. They will bide their time. They've been very composed tonight. I think they've been patient. They're trying to exploit the space that Leon are leaving. Not been rushing nothing really. They have had their chances too. Just got to make the right decision in the final third. So need to at the moment. No. 40th minute. Positive pet talks coming in for your team and let us know who your standout player is of the first half. It's impressed you the most here in the OL Stadium. Let us know in the fan zone via the DAZN mobile or web app. Cascarino, and it'll get there. The best show. Pretty quiet up there. Through the middle for Leon. She hasn't, along with Candy Diate Diani, I would say, actually, haven't really been able to get in behind PSG. Most of the threats come from Cascarino on the left. Defended really well as well. They've got tight to the players. I think both sets of defenders really are both tight to the, the forwards, not allowing them to turn. We've seen so many free kicks won because of that. Treble still on for PSG. League title in France, certainly no foregone conclusion with the new playoff system. Favourites to win the Champions League, but hey, it's knockout football. And we have the, the France final as well against FC Fleury, who ruined Leon's chances this season, between them in penalties in the semis. Semi final stage, which PSG scraped through in penalties as well against their city rivals, Paris FC. Desperate to make sure any France triumph is his part. Of a domestic double at least. Two breaks of the ball going Dumonet's way and strong in the tackle to Winger. Here's Gayoro. Baltimore. Sirens blaring here for Leon. Baltimore on the outside. Kitsoto! Time and picking your moment. They've sucked up so much, but at the other end, PSG flex their muscles, and it's no surprise to see Marie Antoinette Katoto tucking the ball into the corner. On the stroke of half time, Leon behind, PSG one up. 
Well, great timing as well for a goal, but PSG getting their foot stuck in initially. I did think they've only got one or two bodies in the box. What can they do? Baltimore on the right-hand side here, really good feet, gets to the byline. It was a dangerous ball across. But Toto there, touch off of balance as well, and he's still able to put the ball away. Poor defending, though, from Eddie Carpenter. Doesn't really got a clue where Kototo is. Doesn't make the initial contact in the first place. But Kototo does really well there to take that touch. She's off balance, but she's still able to generate the power and get it into the bottom corner. Fantastic finish. It's clinical, so clinical from the striker. Almost some sort of mind control on the outside from Baltimore. Almost forcing Basha to stick her foot in. It's like they can't resist. Really good play from a winger because as you're getting close to the byline as well, the space is getting tighter and tighter. She fancied herself to get drawn to the line though and able to put the ball across. She'd never be allowed to from that, from that position to put the ball into the box. It's a brilliant time as well. Completely changes the dynamic at half time. No away goals from Ember in European competition anymore. And as Leon look to get level in an instant. Maybe he is there. And Chawinga scampering away here, looking for a quick double. Doesn't trust the right foot. Yeah, when the Renard comes steaming out, was nowhere near Chiringa. Was she just running through? No one else in the box to aim for. She'll do a lot better initially with the, with the strike, but great, great change of pace as well to really draw Renard in, skip past her. PSG did win 1 0 here just under 18 months ago in the league. And goal scorer was Hadu Diati Diani. And what an end to the first half. Quite an incredible conclusion to the opening 45. Marie Antoinette Kitoto has scored the goal which separates the sides. It was a first half. Not quite dominated by Leon, but they certainly had the bulk of the play. And PSG's patience is paying off so far. At half time in the OL Stadium, it is Leon 0, PSG 1. Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Heineken. The UEFA Women's Champions League, sponsored by Heineken. jump
live on the zone worldwide may 18th the fight of the century tyson fury versus alexander Usyk for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world tyson fury looks to reign as king of the division but alexander Usyk is undefeated and coming for the crown for the first time in over 20 years all the belts are on the line Ring of Fire, live on the Zone Worldwide, May 18th. L is for the way you look. Uh. O is for the uh. only one I see. V is very, very extraordinary. E is even more than anyone that you adore. Join the Visa Fan Zone on DAZN for the knockouts of the UEFA Women's Champions League. Test your trivia, vote in polls, win amazing prizes, including a VIP trip to the final. Joining is simple. Head to the DAZN app on your mobile or on the web, dazone.com forward slash women's football. Sign up, select a UWCL game and get involved live and for free on DAZN, the global home of women's football. Well, what about that then? PSG with the lead at half time. Lots of boxing happening in May on the zone as well as a blockbuster fight live on the zone as former friends turn rivals Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia clash in the ultimate grudge match. It's been a wild build up to the fight. Make sure to tune in. So the Women's Champions League second legs are, of course, live on DAZN. Barcelona going to Stamford Bridge, hoping to get back in the time. And of course, we'll have a rerun of this all French affair. You can buy it all now on DAZN.com. That's the boxing that you can buy. Of course, the Women's Champions League games, Jilly, are free. OK, so at half time then, PSG will definitely be the happier team, Jilly. Bit of a shock, that. What did you make of it? Yeah, I mean, I think it, it started off as we'd expected, really. You know, I think both teams are trying to suss each other out. Both had chances, but that timing of that goal just before half time couldn't have wanted anything better for PSG. Well, let's have a look at that goal then, Marie Antoinette Katoto. What a goal this is, Jilly, against the runner play. Yeah, I mean, I did sound commentary initially. I thought that there wasn't enough bodies in the box, but Baltimore out here, she's got great feet, but she should never be allowed to put the ball into the box from that angle. Bashish gets drawn into it. Ellie Carpenter's got no idea at all where Katoto is. And she's able to finish that whilst being off balance as well, which is really difficult, but takes a touch here. She's falling back, but she's able to put it into the bottom corner. Such power. Such power into the bottom corner to give PSG the lead at the break just before half time as well. How will that affect Leon mentally, do you reckon? Oh, I mean, I think Leon will still be going in with a similar probably team talk, but if you're going in now, 1 0 down, and obviously PSG's team talk could have changed a little bit as well, but it's just all about timing because you probably go in there with a set thing and uh, you obviously have to have a little bit of a change because of the goal. And how will PSG react to this, do you think? Because they had most of the possession in that first half, didn't they? Yeah, and I think they're going to know that Leon now are going to have to come at them. But they're in a position where they can do little things now, where they can start to time waste, they can start to game manage the situation because they do have the lead. And, you know, if they can go back with a lead or even a draw back home, that's a huge result for them. 
football. Constance Piku, the PSG goalkeeper, made a massive save as well in that first half. Let's take a little look at that. Yeah, she, I mean, she's had a good first half. No, she's had a couple of, couple of chances here, but it's a great ball into the box. Good defending there. But yeah, this one here, Katsuguna coming in, I said she only got one thing on her mind, and that's to have a strike, but she's had to be stay switched on in the, in the first half. Will Leon be disappointed with their performance in that first half? I know they're a goal down, but they did have most of the possession. They did have a lot of chances. I think they'll be disappointed not to put away their chances. I think they've dominated it, but they haven't took their chances and they have had the, the chances to put the ball into the back of the net. All right, so PSG with the lead then at the break, leading 1-0. I hope you've been having fun on the DAZN fan zone, getting in all of your uh, players of the first half. I can tell you now that earlier we asked you who your standout player would be from the first half, and you all said it's Delphine Cascarino who comes out on top. Would you agree with that, Jilly? Yeah, I mean, I think she's been a live wire um, in the wide areas especially, but... PSG now might be thinking, hold on a minute, have we not got one of our players in there? But yeah, I think Cascarino has been the live wire for Leon. OK, and we also asked for your pep talks as well. And we can tell you that Leon have won that first half with 51% of the pep talks. So there we go. I think they need a, a good pep talk, don't they, Jilly, to get them back out here in this second half? They definitely will need a good pep talk coming out. And I think you'll see Leon will raise their game as well again in the second half. If you were in the changing room, what would you be saying? Depending on what team I'd be in, if I'm Leon. <laughs> oh, no, I would say, listen, I mean, they know that they've got the talent and the ability to go and get a goal, but it's just about now putting away those chances. OK, a big 45 minutes coming up in the first leg of this semi-final between French giants Leon and PSG. PSG currently have the lead, 1-0, coming up. The Zone Worldwide, April 20th, Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. Two generational talents, the world at their feet. It's time for me to show the world how great I really am. A world championship is on the line. This is the year I shocked the world, but only one can wear the crown. Let's make the fight happen now. This is a grudge match. This one talents. Live on The Zone Worldwide, April 20th. Buy now at DACN.com. Is for the way you look. Uh, oh, is for the uh, only one I see. V is very, very extraordinary. E is even more than anyone that you adore can love. Is all that I. Versus Bellator was just the beginning. Wow. Speechless. Are you going? I did not expect this. As the zone lands a season of top MMA. Incredible. Including PFL's exciting league points and playoff formats. So enjoy Chris Cyborg, Vadim Nemkov, Clarissa Shields, and Jake Paul. Plus, witness Francis Ngannou's MMA return. Unbelievable. The six foot eight chump of champs awaits. The zone. Unleash the cage. Hey champ, I know why you're here. You're a born winner, the top dog. You have a proper punch on you. It only takes one, eh? But I know you're not all about throwing haymakers. You know your bobs from your weeds, and you know the zone's got over 100 live events every year. Over 100, proper stack. All the action, the chaos, the comebacks, the non-stop knockout, big fights every week. So get those gloves back on. Together, we're boxing royalty. The zone, undisputed. Hold on. It's only noise. Can Anthony Edwards live up to the hype? It's only rivalry. A little hard work. Only a kick. 
It's only a jump. Champions League, sponsored by Heineken. The UEFA Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Heineken. There's the woman that's making the difference so far. Welcome back to the live coverage of Lyon against PSG in the Champions League semi-final and it is not going the way of the hosts. To put it bluntly, they had the bulk of possession. They had more opportunities. They have failed to take any of them. And PSG managed to take one of the few that came their way after some superb work down the wing from Sandy Baltimore. There's a change at half-time as well for PSG with Taniba Samura coming on, which I think will push Sandy Baltimore into a more central position. Just operating behind Katoto and Chawinga, who were playing as a two to begin with anyway. This is the fourth Champions League semi-final meeting between Lyon and PSG. And we'll have won all of them so far. Most recently in season 21-22. 3-2 win here, followed by a 2-1 win in Paris. what is a rather frustrating record for them at this stage of the competition. They have reached a couple of finals in the past, the most recent of which seven years ago, though, so to really make their presence felt more seriously. There's Chowinga. It's towards the byline. Outnumbered. Diani. Seems to clear. The zone. the zone, the global home of women's football, and she's going from envision to out of vision. Welcome back to Julie Flaherty in the commentary box. The lift was a little bit snug. There are a few people trying to <laughs> think some of the Leon coaching staff are coming to join us up in, in the gantry as well, but yeah, I'm up, I'm back. Trying to get some of your tactical expertise before the second half. They're, they're not going to listen to a word I say, don't worry about that. Same for PSG would do it just nicely. Sakina Karshawi with the cross. Okay, no. Some more. Chawinga, half a yard. Katoto there. Flag stays down, and PSG have raced into a two goal lead in Leon. More fortuitous. Than the beauty of the first. But that's another tally next to the Parisian's name. And another next to Katoto as well. She's making this her semi. What 
a perfect start as well to the second half. You couldn't ask to start much better than that. Leon deal with the initial cross. Not able to get the ball under control at all, but PSG is still in there fighting, battling. I mean, she's clearly onside, clearly onside there. And it's a calm finish again. That's just completely switched off along the line, not even nowhere near with the rest of her players. And he's in still, even knowing that she's deeper than the rest, still puts her hand up to say that she's going to be offside. It's a great finish, though, from Toto. The whole home rear guard napping. Selma Basha in the deepest of sleeps. Playing Katoto well on side. What to do now? Cascadino. Space for De Mornay and reflection takes it behind for a corner. Leon really now need to up their game though. Obviously no 2-0 down. De Mornay there picks up the ball. Block on the defender. I think it would have been an easy save for the goalkeeper anyway. That's our delivery. Problem for Eva Gattino. Potentially problems here for Leon though. And Chawinga heads through. Will there be a third? Help is on hand. And on our weaker side, Koshui can't hit the target. I think with Chawinga there, though, I think it's her second touch that just kills her because she's not able to get away from the defender. She ends up, her second touch brings her back towards where the defender is, and then Koshui's not really able to direct the ball on target. But PSG getting their chances look like they're going for a third. Show it. Away she goes. Chawinga for a third. Oh, what is happening to Leon here? What an opportunity they have to put themselves out of sight if the home side remain in this disarray. You can see as well, Bob has still on the sideline. She's so animated. She's fuming with the defending. The whole back four for Leon have just completely switched off. Completely out of the game. Just allowing PSG to have. This, realistically, now PSG really should be 4 0 up. We have a problem here in defence as well, Leon, with Mbok down. There's plenty happening on the park, plenty happening in the fan zone as well. Test your trivia in the quiz for a chance to win a VIP trip for two at next month's final in Bilbao, including travel, accommodation, and hospitality at the game. So here's the question. How many UWCL trophies did Leon win in a row consecutively, ending in the 2021 season? Scourges. So far, they are missing Ada Hegerberg, remember. There was chat that she'd make it for this game after suffering a calf injury in March. Competition's record, goal scorer. Was unable to recover in time. Before the game, 
to even have someone like Edelberg available as a presence, you know, not necessarily even what she brings in, but having that leadership, that threat, her son that she's got, to not be able to have that, not be able to call on a plan like that, it's difficult for Leon. Mr. Gilles has come on to the place, the edge and bonk, his knock, sees her withdrawn, the auto tumble, that's another example of the cynical films we were seeing in the first half, which largely went unpunished. I think Jackie Grinnan's maybe making that point at the moment to Marta Huerta de Aza, who has kept her cards in her pocket. And a lot of them have been on Bior as well. You know, she's been at the, the end of a lot of those off the ball. Late tackles as such. But I think that's... That, that, with her as a player, like she, she's a player that breaks up play. She's a player that likes to get her foot stuck in as well. And she's able to bring PSG up all the time by winning those fouls for them. That's good enough. He's played such a huge part. And Knockout stage so far for Leon. It's going away to Benfica and then a double at home in the 4 1 win. This wasn't really seen properly until stoppage time when Diani added a double. Much less safe than aggregate by that point. Diani. And second thoughts about the through ball. Ligui hopes to leave it. There's Basha. Second bite. No room to manoeuvre it, and PSG will take that all day. Yeah, really good defending there. Good 1v1 defending. Bash, I didn't know if she's going to go down potentially and try to win a free kick. But stays on her feet. But the defender does really well there. That's a loose one from Renard. And suddenly there's an injection of encouragement here for PSG again. Well defended by the substitute, Vanessa Gilles. Short, short, long, and Horan's ball intended for Bishop and Dumornay. That'd have been really come to fruition. That'd have been really good play as well. Just overhit the ball. Dumornay made a great third player run where the space was left. Just runs away from her. Baltimore, PSG, moving with confidence. Karshawi, Katoto, treble. Yeah. Stopped in our tracks. Strong tackle there. It's a good battle, healthy battle between Diani and Kashawi. Daniel van der Donk comes on to the place. Zaki Besho. This will change. Centre maybe push them on for the forwards. But they get their own problem to deal with in the meantime here, gifting PSG the corner. I also think with Van der Donk coming on, she adds that little bit of bite, that little bit of fire in the midfield, which I think Leon have been missing tonight. I'll show his ball. 
Aspirino does well to get there. The blue shots are flooding back. Really restricting the space that Leon have to work in, and the Almeida puts their minds at ease. Brennan, no chances taken. Dumone trying to burrow her way through. PSG defending really well as a team. Even when Leon are trying to counter attack quickly, they're able to delay, they're able to allow other teammates time to recover. Defending really well as a team. Diani. Defended by Taniba Samura, a half time sub. Basha with yet another Leon corner. Miko gets something on this one. Again, Pico coming flying out, really comes out from her far away from her goal line. That might come to Renner, who doesn't catch the shot, and that's an unnecessary corner given away by Jackie Grenin. See Wendy Minard there lining that up, looking for the to get it on the volley. The, the right option, though, would have been Van der Donk. He was flying down her right-hand side where the space was, but typical centre-back. Sees the opportunity, wants to go for goal. You said earlier, Jaleel Selma Basha takes just about every single set-piece delivery for Leon. She racks up the assists. Sooner or later, will she add another? Then are rising. No avail again. We also sometimes think, though, I mean, she takes everything, but sometimes it's good to have a different mix. You know, someone else with a different delivery. Obviously, he's fully aware that Renard's a target. And PSG defended him really well. Draws the frustration of the left back who was looking for the return pass. Leon have played 12 semi final ties in Europe's top club competition. 23 legs in total, one of them was just one leg during the pandemic. They've only lost two matches across all of them. Duisburg back in 08 09, Man City in 16 17, which we won 3 2 in aggregate before we went to win the competition. The travelator here has deepened and quickened for them somewhat after Katoto's early second half strike. I'm sure he's in behind. As well. There's also talk pre game obviously about how much these teams have played against each other, whether that's a good thing or a negative thing. But for me, I think it's a good thing for PSG that they know really how Leon play and they're not they're not fearful of Leon coming into this game. I'll show you. Mornay not quite strong enough. Martino 
crossing. And that was begging to be struck by Baltimore. She couldn't resist. Great little touch down there from Kototo as well. Nice cushioned, nice little setup. Baltimore just couldn't get over the top of it. forward now after Vicky Besho was subbed off. She's going through the middle with Cascarino. Still there on the left and Gianni on the right. All of the dice from Sonia Bonpastor. So she had to do something. Slightly caught. Could have been so different if a thunder strike went in with the score at 0 0. Well saved by Pico. Thunderdome keen to keep things going for Carpenter here. Diani. It's not been her evening so far. Carpenter stayed on side. Going in one direction, and Karshawi is too tall a hurdle. Yeah, Karshawi does really well there up against Carpenter. Stands her ground, delays her. Just the Mornay. Pico's hands are safe this time. Leon just really struggling, really revived this, even when the balls are coming into the box. Players are already in there, there's no really late runners. No one really trying to bust the gut to get across the PSG defenders' view. Just be expecting more Lyon players really to gamble forward. They obviously are losing 2 0. Chance for Lyon with the quick turnover though. Here's Horan back for Carpenter. The cross is flat and easy for Pico. Leon just appearing very frustrated, in all honesty. Seems like nothing's really clicking for them going forward. Which is a, a shame, really, because of the talent that they've got in this team. Obviously, dumine has gone up top to try and mix it up. A little earlier, we asked you what the total number was of how many Champions League trophies Leon won in a row ending in the 2021 season. The answer is five. If you got that right, why not take on the quiz in the fan zone via the DAZN mobile app. Chance to win the VIP experience for two at next month's final. And with us here in the global home of women's football, watching PSG cause a bit of a stir in southern France. It's, it's going their way and then some. Looking for a third as well. And slides Ellie Carpenter. He's done a fair amount of running over there on the right hand side for Leon. Yeah, she's done well to recover there. Not too sure if that was the right option to continue to carry the ball into the box. Allows Ellie Carpenter time to recover. Hanging on in there at the moment, a third. We we'll just really rub it in. Latino loitering. And the chase is on. Only one player wanted that, and it was Geneva Samura. 
Fancying our chances ahead of Melchior de Mornay. There's a couple of slices, and here's the Annie drifting in field for de Mornay. She's all on her own here. Arrivals now, Horan. PSG back quickly once again. Carpenter. The momentum falls. No sting for Leon. So Wingers all on her own. And she's just toying with Leon. And the rest of our team have been able to get their breath back and still give themselves the opportunity to mount an attack here down the opposite side with Liga Yi. Show it. Too much just on that for Katoto, who recognises the intention. I think what you're noticing as well with, with Leon's attacks is that they're getting the, the ball wide, they're putting the ball in the box, but they're putting it in far too early. There's no Leon players in there, and then when there are players in there, they're taking too long to put the ball into the box or to move it. Not only Ada Hegerberg missing for them this evening, Sarah Davitz as well, who has made a habit recently of arriving at the right time. Might fall for Dumornay, crunching the Almeida challenge. That was all ball. And here's Tuinga. Renard in her way, not for long. Tuinga still going. It's Katoto on for three. Wow, Enlor keeps Leon potentially in the tie. Tabitha Chawinga is running riot out there. And that has all come from Dalamida with a fantastically timed tackle down the other end. Getting a little bit slow there, I think, from Chawinga's pass. If she puts a bit more pace on it for Katoto, she doesn't have to take the extra touch, which then allows Carpenter time to recover. Not just well positioned, but a strong wrist as well as the ball just managed to get through the legs of Endler. Here's Damaris. The home crowd have found their voice. De Mornay. Doesn't find Van de Donk. The home attack is blunt. Near Samura. Had to think twice. Bit disappointed with herself as she gives away a needless corner. Good pressure from the fresh legs of Daniel van de Donk. Yeah, a little bit of overplay there from PSG. But what you notice in PSG, you're getting in really good positions defensively as well. Ball's coming in and you think they're going to nick it. Leon are going to nick it, but they're not PSG in the right place at the right time. Losing count of how many corners Bash has had. That's not one of our best either. Here's Diani. This has been so sloppy at parts from Leon. So they've managed to, to win themselves a corner, but in the build-up, just overhitting passes. That's a dangerous cross, which is flicked on by Katoto. Doing her duty in the opposite box this time. 
Yeah, she has to get a connection on that as well. There was bodies behind her, waiting to attack it. Important flick behind. Basha once again. So it takes no chances. So far in this game, nothing has really come off for Leon. The amount of corners that they've had. Not really looked dangerous at all in any of them. And that's a teasing one though, which knocks a little bit and who can blame her with around 20 minutes or so to play. She has to be brave there as well because Wendy Bernard stays up, she is the target. She has to be brave once she commits to it as well. And there are plenty of former PSG players in the Leon sides. Sakina Kashawi is the only one. His career has gone in the opposite direction. She spent a very brief period of time at Lyon. Changes for both sides with Emily Vansgaard coming on for PSG. Masri enters the fray for Lyon. Which is about to anyway. as well debut a dozen years ago she's had those Champions League trophies and it's a trophy which is slipping further away from Leon here oh well and maybe they still do will have thought it's something they can pretty much claim as their own property SG take care of them here until the one Champions League title in four seasons after five in a row and there is a yellow card which goes the way of Diani Taking a while for that first card to come, especially we've had a first half was as well with the late challenges. And that's probably, in all fairness, probably one of the softest late challenges as well compared to the other ones that we've seen throughout the game. Just a clash of knees that certainly wasn't as much malice or intention, the more accurate words, in some of the fills, the tactical fills we've seen so far. Terrific, terrific. In central midfield for PSG. Two wing up. No block. Getting the ball off hard in this mood. Penta. Penta might have taken the final touch, but it's number five by the flag. Raised against Sakina Karshawi. Sandy Baltimore moving infield as well. Has posed more problems for Leon to deal with. She was pretty quiet until the opening goal. See more of the ball now. Here's Majri. Trusted with turning this game in Leon's favour. Sees a bit of the ball. Handball shouts on the edge of the area, which had ignored. Mata Huerta Diaz says that was a shoulder. The Mornay's clipped cross. Horan. And that will not be a corner throw for Leon. Big calls there from the players, thinking it was a handball. 
it wasn't referee very adamant that it wasn't here is Masri excellently clipped back it has to be now for Leon. more bodies on the line for PSG Baltimore thumping clear Carpenter and Pico is comfortable again. I think Masri coming on, she's just brought a bit of energy into Leon's front line. I mean, that's probably been one of their better chances in, in regards to the second half as well, just lacking that third player run. The players are already in the box as that ball comes in, and it's really hard then once you're in a standing position to really be able to move away from the defender. Fairly. This carpenter's touch, not bad. Two more on the half turn. Look how many bodies PSG have behind the ball, though. Diani, wait for Carpenter. Beautiful cut back, Diani! to be Diani. Bearing a grudge against the badge she used to wear. And this semi-final tie is alive. Starts with Diani as well, picks up to Carpenter. Guillermo just completely switches off and doesn't go with her run. It's a little toe poke, really, in all fairness, a finish. A stretch down leg into the bottom corner. But you, you said as well with PSG, they're getting more and more bodies behind the ball, but they're getting deeper and deeper and deeper as well. The competition's top scorer this season has eight now. And how much life and belief will that inject into this Leon team that have looked forlorn for large stages? Here's Vansgaard, though. There's a slip at the back from Gilles, which almost allowed Katoto to get in the end of it. There's Vansgaard again. It shouldn't really be a surprise that Leon have scored when they were knocked out of the Coupe de France on penalties by FC Fleury after a 0-0 draw. That was just shy of a year of scoring in every game in which they played. And they have some wind in their sails here now with Dumornay. Masri screaming for it. Strike! It didn't take a touch from Pico. It just dipped a fraction too late. There's a great effort, giving a great pass there. She's a distance out as well, Majri. Takes a nice cushion touch. It's a great strike, but it just doesn't dip quick enough. But like you said, Leon have got some wind in them now. PSG, you can see they're tired. They've defended really well as a team. Good morning. Unable to get the better of young Gattino. Basha trying to grab it by the scruff. I don't think Dioro or Jocelyn Prosher will complain too much about that. PSG could do with breaking the game up a little bit here. Two more on the half turn again. Carpenter. Leon searching for the equaliser. Wonderful block by Gatino. Leon come again. This is a white swarm. 
De Mornay with the one-two. And it was a tackle. Fairly won. It is a great time tackle from Deramida there. Really good play from, from Leon though. You can see the urgency now, and I think the crowd is really helping as well. They're really getting behind them. Now this is when PSG have to manage it. They have to manage the moments. Leon unbeaten in 90 minutes this season across 33 matches. I'm pretty sure if they were to lose tonight and go on and turn it around in the second leg, they wouldn't give monkeys about such a record. I think that's the beauty, though, of these Champions League semi-finals is that it is two-legged. No, so it doesn't really doesn't matter what happens in the first leg, but you know you've got a second chance to make it right. And with the disparity, it won. There's every chance. Basha's delivery again. Breaks for Renard. De Mornay! Level! A thunderous strike! And an electric turnaround in Leon. And the wind and the home side sails is a hurricane! For 5-10. And how, how important was Luminez? She's dropped his shoulder here. Completely sells defenders an absolute rocket into the back of the net. Wendy Bernard does really well because you can see initially she probably wants to have a strike herself. Knows that's not the best option. The shower is completely sold by Luminez. A rocket into the back of the net. Almost ripping the net from its hinges. And as it stands, ripping away PSG's dreams of a rare victory in Lyon to set them up perfectly for the second leg in Paris next week. Tawinga looking to latch on, but Endler was one step ahead. I think also as well, like, question the substitutes. Cotodo's come off, she was their biggest threat as well going forward. Money again. Matri on the turn! Oh! It's a ten minute Parisian evisceration in Leon. A quite surreal turn of events. And the competition's most successful side are not letting this slide. And this is what you expect from a team like Leon. You cannot write them off. And you now go ask PSG. They must be regretting the chances that they've missed in this game. Because they should have put the game to bed. They should have made it 4-0. Leon do not give up. They do not give up the fight. Mashri here, that little dummy, to allow the ball to run past her. And puts the ball into the bottom corner. Completely sells Vansgaard as well. Can't get any closer to the post there either. To be able to finish from that angle. Incredible, incredible from Leon. It's perfectly placed to put PSG in their place as far as Leon are concerned. At arm's length, they've managed to keep them for the majority. Seriously tested tonight. And the closer PSG have got, Leon have been able to grab them by the scruff and just fling them away. Here's De Mornay. Oh, it's really cracked up a notch or two in the OL Stadium. I think it was the first goal that Leon managed to pull back. It set the crowd alight. The crowd have been brilliant. The fans have been behind them.
And like you said, as the game's gone on, PSG have got more and more tired. They've got deeper and deeper, getting further away from their players. So allowing Leon to come back into the game. And the changes have worked a treat. For one of the sides, Andrea substitutes herself. from the substitutes. And after this turnaround, who is your visa player of the match? It's time to let us know. Let us know in the fan zone on the zone mobile or web app. And we will reveal at the close of play. Not sure we want it to end in this current state. Five minutes added on for PSG to either give us another twist or to limit the damage. The heart of this tie still very much beats with the disparity at one if Leon can get it to two. And that really steepens the gradient for the Parisians ahead of next week's return leg in Paris. Down she goes! Oh! Well, they are crying for it. Demaris was there contact in the legs. It's between the knees, there's a clash of knees. VAR's in operation. the comfort blankets that the referees have these days should they be unsure Penalty shout. I mean, it was there was there was contact there, but I don't think it warranted the, the way Gayoro fell down. I don't think there was enough in it. Still, there's a wait until now. And Leon with a sigh of relief. And some frustration emanating from the visitors. There definitely was contact. Really. I think that is the difficulty sometimes though is that there is contact but is it necessarily sometimes how a player does go down how they fall down Madri the difference maker Horan didn't quite catch it first time Leon Corner yeah, I agree I think Madri's been here 
a brilliant substitute. She's really drove the team forward. She's got that experience, that leadership. She knows how to win games. She knows how to change games around. She's just giving them life going forward. This time, the ball will not be tossed into the box at this stage. PSG had so much control over this semi final first leg. Not over, not in its current form. Excellent tackle with the venture winger. I do think, though, no, PSG will rue those missed chances that they haven't taken, especially in the second half. One more to come though. Mazri hacks away a clearance. De Mornay. The five added minutes have turned to seconds. And Leon. From the most severe position, have managed to find some sort of strength in this tie. De Mornay. Mazri. What an impact. The whistle goes. A sensational evening of Champions League football in Lyon. From two down, and looking for all the world beaten on the night. Lyon, off the canvas, and not just swinging punches, but landing serious blows on PSG. The substitutes worked in their favour. Masri off the bench and the match winner. After a goal, number one from Diani and then Dumourney in pretty quick succession. Cancelling the Kototo's double. And the player of the match, the Visa fan zone player of the match, is Melchie Dumourney, scorer of the second, what a goal, which really turned the tide once and for all. You join us for analysis after the break, it finishes in Leon. Leon 3, PSG 2. for Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Heineken. The UEFA Women's Champions League, sponsored by Heineken.
Live on the Zone Worldwide, May 18th. The fight of the century. Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. Tyson Fury looks to reign as king of the division. But Alexander Usyk is undefeated and coming for the crown. For the first time in over 20 years, all the belts are on the line. Ring of Fire, live on the Zone Worldwide, May 18th. L is for the way you look. O is for the only one I see. V is very, very extraordinary. Hold on. It's only noise. Can Anthony Edwards live up to the hype? It's only rivalry. A little hard work. Only a kick. It's only a jump. Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Heineken. Can't wait to smash his brains in. Well, what about this then? Leon with a comeback for the ages. Before we get into it, just to let you know, we've got a fantastic month of sporting action here on DAZN. Lots of boxing happening this month too, including a blockbuster from New York as Devin Haney takes on Ryan Garcia for the world lightweight title. And of course, we're all about the Women's Champions League here on DAZN. We're back next weekend for the Women's Champions League semi-final second legs. Watch Chelsea take on Barcelona at Stamford Bridge next Saturday. It's advantage Chelsea, a goal from Erin Cuthbert being the difference between the two sides and helping Chelsea beat Barcelona on their home turf for the first time in five years. And of course, PSG host Lyon next Sunday in Paris for a rematch of this for their second leg. Well, Lyon came into this with history on their side. We thought maybe PSG had rewritten the narrative, Jilly, maybe. But Lyon produced a comeback under the lights. Lyon eventually winning 3-2 against PSG. Heartbreak there for PSG. And as you can see the stats on the screen, it was pretty even in terms of possession, wasn't it, Jilly? Yeah, I mean, I think, obviously, throughout the whole game, really, even in the first half as well, that 
You know, they both had the ball. They both was just trying to suss each other out a little bit. But, yeah, looking pretty even on there. Is this what you expected, that little fight back from Lee? And it looked at one point during that second half like it wasn't going to come. I, I mean, at, at one point, I thought PSG were going to be falling them up. And then I thought that's going to be really difficult for Leon to come back. But with a team like Leon, you know, with their experience and their status and just the way they carry themselves, for them to come back, I thought you'd come back and get a draw potentially, but to be able to come back and get the win is, yeah, it's incredible. Well, let's have a look at this Leon comeback then, starting with their first goal of the second half. Kadiatu Diani. And, and Ellie Carpenter on the right hand side. Diani does well because she sets up Ellie Carpenter and then carries on her run. And Guerrero doesn't pick her up at all. And it's a little bit of a toe pump, but it's a, it's a great finish into the bottom corner. Do you think PSG could have been doing better there then? I do think that PSG were getting tired as the second half was going on and they was getting deeper and deeper, which then obviously made it difficult for them. PSG, well, Lyon, sorry, made some really good tactical changes, didn't they, in that second half that sort of gave them the edge? Yeah, and I think for me, the stand-up one was 